and welcome back to Ginger Man. No mountains today, but instead of a sunrise, I'm going to try and give you a sunset. I've come to the small village of Newton in West Lothian, just over the bridge. I got here in about five minutes from my house. But that aside, um, it's a lovely evening. I came here this morning early to see what it was like, but it was blowing a hule. So, Newton, show me what you got. Peace. So here we are, Newton. I've travelled through here many times. This is the first time I've stopped and walked through it. This is the local community centre, offering free parking. A couple of nice houses around here. Classic defib. They've got it all. Um, Newton has got the famous uh, viewpoint to the bridges, which we'll get to, hopefully get the drone up. The wind has stopped and it's lovely now. What else is it famous for? It's famous for its petrol station. It's got a petrol station. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out whilst we're here. I'm going to hazard a guess that the population is around about 500 people. So here we go. This is like the main housing bit. I'm already out of it from starting in it. And this bit here, anyone who's driven towards Bowness or Linlithgow from Edinburgh Fife area will recognise this wee road and I tell you what, incredible views over at the Oakle Hills So I think I'm out on the main square here we've got the garage, Esso garage there we've got a wee pub restaurant, the Fat Pheasant looks nice Noon till 9pm, shuts early. Look at this. It looks uh, exotic. Exotic. What, we got a board? Newton Community Council. Uh, there's not much going on. If you're bored in Newton, right, and you're looking for things to do here, I'll let the van go by. You can actually, if you're interested, read the minutes of the Newton Community Council on the 16th of May. The treasurer's been at the bank and mandate to be changed. It was agreed that David Frost to be removed from mandate and Morgan Knox, Tom Beasley and Paul Pacitti to be added to mandate. The bank require a minute of change. There you go. Now you know. The Newton stores and the petrol station, handy. Handy, because the shop will be open all the time, unless it's not 24 hours. But well, you know there's a shop and a cash machine here. So, these are the highlights so far in Newton. And I'm not taking the piss. Um, a petrol station is a really practical, handy thing to have in your village. Right, that's his view. I wonder if it's his Oco view. There's a lot of Oco views places, no? Willow, Gallo view. Actually, from this spot, you can see the Pentlands to the south, lovely, and you can see the Oakles to the north. See, when I'm driving, you wouldn't ever take that in. But now I'm walking along here, well, I'm very much aware of it, and I'm very much a fan of it. This is the Welcome to Newton sign, I think. It is. 
Are you under 30? I'm not under 30. I'm 36 in two weeks. I mean, they should really be more specific and say, are you driving under 30? Right, now, I think... I'm going to have a wee walk out a bit because I think there's a wee... A potential wee walk down to the water up here or somewhere. And then I'm going to try and get the drone up, catch this sunset, which has gone behind the clouds. But on the way over the bridge, it was so bright I was blinded. But once I get the camera out, it's disappearing, but it's still a nice night. Right, here we go. Hopeton House is here. It says South Queen's Ferry, but that's being rude to, to Newton. It's like, forget about Newton, which is closer to Hopeton House than South Queen's Ferry, I'd say. So, visit Hopeton, Scotland's finest stately home, Newton. This is an interesting side of Kirkwood. I've done Bowness, I've done Linlithgow, done Winchborough. I don't know where Abercorn is. I'm going to go check out Abercorn. I see it now, Newton and Abercorn. I've got a feeling Abercorn's like a farm or something, but I'm going to go up a bit and turn turn right. We'll cross the road. There's a wee advertising for the Lady Boys of Bangkok. And there's a glove. Interesting combination. It looks like there's a pavement. We're on our way to Abercorn. Just for context, I think it's about nine o'clock at night. Let me check. No, it's twenty past eight. How wrong was that? Um, so yeah, I did come here early this morning. I was here at like six o'clock. Uh, opened the car door, but the wind shut the car door back for me. So I was like, right, well, I'm not filming this morning. And then I waited all day, windy, and then it just stopped. And I was like, well, now's the time. Let's go. Anyway, I'm on this quaint little road and this is what I'm all about, is exploring these little nooks and crannies of places that are somewhat familiar but I really, I don't know them that well. What is this? This looks like someone's garden, has to be. Oh yeah, that's someone's garden. A couple of tree swings, loads of midges, what looks like an American football. Things have been... Uh, transpired now that we're doing Newton and Abercorn because let's be honest Newton is about four minutes in length walking not driving what's this uh, house rooms oh there's a house in there there's a house in there I think this this road is Abercorn this is just Abercorn here I need to find out I need to find out about Newton you know how I'm gonna ask you eh? There's the road. There's the the whole of Newton there actually. And you can actually I can see where I live. I can I'm right direct across from the South Dockyard. So I could probably fly my drone home. Um, and on this side there's a cool wee wood. I don't think this is anyone's garden here. I'll keep my eyes peeled for uh, tree swings of course. And my eyes are peeled for uh, uh, seeing new animals after I seen a mink the other night. I'm thinking of all the other creatures that I want to see now. Still no otter. I need to see an otter. Abercorn and Newton. Darn Tootin. It's kind of like a wee baby woodland. So I wonder if Hopeton House is on the other side of this woods. I'll tell you one thing. We're certainly, we're no in South Queen's Ferry. Right, what does this sign say? See if there's a wee village down here by the water. My mind will explode, let me tell you. There's this wee bit that opens up to a big field. I don't know what it takes, it takes me out of the direction of Newton. I want to follow this road down to the water because I kind of, I just want to see what's there. Um, and then I'll walk my way back round towards Newton, hopefully. Hopefully there's a loop, ideally there's a loop that'll take me to the viewpoint and I get a perfect sunset. Uh, I'll be a happy ginger man.
Hi, robot friend. Could you please tell me some information about the village of Newton, spelt N-E-W-T-O-N, in Scotland? Good evening, Derek. Sure, I can tell you about Newton. Newton is a fairly common village name in Scotland. So, just to clarify, are you referring to the one near Ratho in Midlothian, or another Newton? I'm talking about the one next to Ratho. Haha, <laughs> you remember that Ratho from last time, don't you? Haha, <laughs> I do remember Ratho. Thanks for the laugh. The village of Newton you're asking about is indeed quite close to Ratho. It's a small, quaint village in Midlothian, Scotland, situated just a bit to the east of Ratho. Newton is primarily a residential area with a peaceful countryside feel. Despite being close to Edinburgh, it maintains a very rural atmosphere. The village is surrounded by farmland, and you'll often see fields stretching out in all directions. It's also close to the Union Canal, which offers lovely walking and cycling paths. The area has a rich history, and like many small Scottish villages, it has managed to keep a lot of its traditional charm, while also being close to more modern amenities in nearby towns and cities. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about Newton? Yeah, tell me the population, please. Newton is a small village, so its population isn't huge. It's estimated to have around 200 to 300 residents. The exact number can vary slightly, but it's a close-knit community. The small population really adds to its peaceful village charm. Excellent. And before you go, could you share some wisdom with my followers, please? Of course. Here's a bit of wisdom for your followers. Embrace the journey, not just the destination. Life's greatest lessons often come from the challenges along the way. So take each step with curiosity and courage. How does that sound? Perfect. Au revoir. Au revoir, Derek. Catch you later. There you go. Everyone we need to know from uh, the AI. I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit creepy, isn't it? It's getting a little bit creepy. She laughed, because I remembered that she remembered. And she's like, ha ha, thanks for the laugh, Derek. Hey, listen, it's 2024. I'm filming myself walking around Newton. If you went back 100 years and people see me doing this, they'd be like that. Witch, burn him, he's a witch. But she wasn't wrong. Like she said, you could just see fields stretching. I can see fields and trees. I should have asked her about Abercorn, but I'll leave that for my for surprise. I'm coming to the end of this road, and by the way, this was a long little road down here. I reckon about a mile I've walked here, which isn't much, but it's uh, surprisingly longer than I was expecting. Anyway, hopefully the sun doesn't set by the time I get to the water. Right, you're actually coming to Sutton. I can't believe people live down here. And do you know what? She's right. We are close to Rathal, and Rathal was also a village close to Edinburgh. We're also, again, close to Edinburgh in a village, but this feels much more rural than Rathal. Ah, oh, shot myself. Honestly, who else shits himself when they're walking on their own and you hear a bird fluttering out the, the tree? Oh, there's a church down here. Abercorn Church. Wow. Unlocking new places. Five minutes from where you live. Mr. McGregor's garden. I do like a garden. Am I allowed in? No, it's locked. There's a cool wee garden here, but it's locked. Oh. It's part of the nursery. There's a wee nursery over the road here as well. Little Bugs Nursery. I wonder if this is where you come to be like a nature baby. I mean, there's a path up the woods there. I'm going to have a wee walk along here and try and find the church, which I think is going to be up here, surely. Oh, this is a curious little place. There's a wee path leading up there, but there's a gate. 
um, because when I was in Ratho, I'd put up a bit where I walked up the, the driveway to a house. Well, the person messaged me and said, could you please take that part of the video out? Uh, so I did. So I've got to be careful. Uh, I, I didn't go all the way into their garden and there was no sort of cut off or anything to distinguish between their, may I add, massive driveway and the public path. So just FYI, if you're on that way in Ratho. There's a walled garden here. There's a big green field. It says Great Away Days. Is this part of uh, the Hopeton House? I feel like it is. I feel like it is. Now, I think if I keep walking along this this bit along here, it'll take me to Black Ness because I've kind of walked in this direction from there. Oh, eh? There's a wee pond. And also, I've not seen a single person since I left Newton and came off that road. I've got this place to myself, me and Abercorn. It's a big pond, though. There's a, whole, there's a whole world in here. You just drive past thinking that there's nothing in there. Now there's a whole world. There's, that's actually not... That's a big pond. It's a big pond. Oh wow. We've got it all out here. What a little place to explore. I think it just takes me right back round. You know something, coming out in the evening to film gives a little different atmosphere and vibe to the f to just walking around anywhere. It's always just a little bit spookier, especially places like this that are old. Just a, a smidgen creepy. Right, let's head back along that path that I've seen. I, kind of, I don't know where the church is. I don't know where Aberthorn Church is. There's a sign for it, and then you come along here, and then it's uh, there's a gate at the end. So who knows? But we're not here really for Abercorn. We're here for Newton, which is, of course, as the Chat GBD told us, is a common a common name in Scotland. I'll tell you how I know about Hopeton House because I stay in the dockyard, uh, just the the bit of water between me and Hopeton House. In the summer at 10 o'clock at night, on some point, I don't know when, but they have a fireworks display and it's very loud. Uh, and I can't see it, I can only hear it, I don't mind. It's always the same, you go, you go on Facebook and it's filled with people being like, what is that noise? Are we getting invaded by the Russians? All that stuff, but it's always just Hopeton's fireworks. Um, if we ever do get bombed by the Russians, everyone will think it's Hopeton fireworks. Right, so we'll just ignore the sign that says Abercorn Church and we'll go back this way. I feel like this is, takes us back to, to Newton. I'm not sure at which point this road path takes you to the to the fourth. I still feel like we're quite a bit away from it. I'm not entirely sure. But let's go up here and see. What does this warning sign say? Warning. Forests operations. Eh, okay, cool. So I'm going to go along here a bit and we'll get this drone up before we lose light. Sunset drone. This is actually a really nice path out of Abercorn. A little bit of bonus content for the video. I've just decided I'm just going to straight call it Newton. Because there wasn't enough Abercorn really to give it an episode. an annoyingly high wall. If it was shorter, I would be able to see 
right across to the fourth. I want to see the fourth. The fourth is like that f gives me that feeling of home, that nice, warm, fuzzy feeling you get. That's the fourth for me. You know, these are the nights you miss when the when the winter comes in. And I love those cosy dark nights, but these cool evenings, light till 10 o'clock. And it, you, you know it's coming to an end now. You feel it as the, the darkness is drawn closer and closer towards daytime. But you enjoy these last moments of it in August, September time. You really, you cherish them. Ah! Look at that, I just uh, tried to be all whimsical and put my hand out and look, I got pronged by a jaggy. That'll teach me to be whimsical. Hiya. I don't know if I'm getting shorter or this wall's getting higher. I can see nothing. The big uh, crescendo, I guess, in viewpoint is the Newton viewpoint. When I passed on the way up, every space was filled and people were just parked up, taking in the sunrise, looking at the bridges. Uh, Aye, it's a really popular spot. A lot of folk go for a McDonald's and then sit up there. Eh, uh, there's better things you can do than get a McDonald's. Like, you could go to the Fat Pheasant in Newton, get yourself a, a bat to take away and go and take in the view. Eh, uh, it's a lover's view, not a dogger's view. It's a lover's view. I want to get my drone up. Well, I've got the drone up and it has activated my third eye on seeing everything around here and now I know the way back. Actually, I've walked a full loop and when I, I realised when I brought the, the drone down that Rath, Rathel, why am I calling it Rathel? Newton, Newton is just directly there and Hopeton House is in the big, behind the big wall, that whole entire area is all their ground so I don't know if it's private land or what. And there was a wee tower in there. I've seen a wee tower I've seen the bridges, actually my view looked better than the viewpoint, the official viewpoint, so, you know, doff my cap to the drone, good work. 
Right, now, if I keep going along there, I'm not coming out at Newton, so I have to go up this way, past this farmhouse. I'll access, but I'm not a vehicle, all right? I'm putting the sign on as a disclaimer that it says, it doesn't say no people allowed, in case someone comes back to me and says, could you take the part of your video down when you briefly walked past my cottage? Um, no, that's not gonna happen, because I'm allowed this way. This is the route, this is the uh, Newton Abercorn loop, loop to scoop. Oh, actually, before I forget, I want to thank my patron legends. I'm making a new video for you, Extra Ginger Part 2, or Episode 2. Um, I'm just putting together lots of old videos, um, and also you'll get your name in the episode if you become a patron, just like these guys have. All you have to do is click the link below, um, and keep your eyes peeled for Extra Ginger Part 2, Episode 2, coming soon. Peace. Not quite a dramatic sunset tonight. It's about 20 past nine now. The old windy man's picking back up as well. So, hopefully I can get back to my car before it's night time. Windy and night, the two worst things for filming. Right now, actually, I can see some sort of castle structure right through there. Is that the church? What is that? It's all behind that wall. I can see it clear as day. You can't see it in the camera, but right through there, there's like a tower. Secret hidden tower. You can see the silhouette of the Okos just looking splendid. Always, always yearning to get back to the Okos. Yeah, so I've done Cloak. I've done... Dumb yet, I've done CMAB. I don't know if CMAB technically counts as the Okos, but that's the three hills I've climbed in the Okos, so sure I've got more to do. More adventures to do in the Okos, but I just love looking at them. Because then I picture myself in the Okos, just enjoying myself, frolicking. Frolicking whimsically in the Okos, home of Highland Spring Water. And you'd have seen on the drone footage, I sort of flew over. Newton, it's tiny. It looked like you could just pick it up in your hand and count the people. There's just all these wee roads you go down and in. Random houses everywhere. I think these are part of Newton. And I think this is the road up here, the Newton Road. So actually, yeah, it does the loop, the Abercorn loop. Just look how dark it's got. That's the big tree. That's the big Newton tree. I feel like it abruptly came to an end there, my little loop walk. I thought I was going to be walking a lot longer, but that's okay. We are running out of light. The Newton viewpoint is here to the to the left, but I don't think there's a road. A path. Let's go check it out. I can't come to Newton and no check out its most famous part, which is the viewpoint to the three bridges. Holy sh! Shit. Look at this hollowed out tree stump. I could I could stand in that and disappear. Almost disappear. That is a hollowed out tree stump. Here's the view. I'm gonna stand on it. You just see me disappear now through the tree stump. There's also like a creepy noise, like a creepy ringing noise coming from over there. Adding to the sort of evening eerie atmosphere that's going on in this episode. It's not much of a viewpoint from here. I'm actually gonna to have to walk to the viewpoint. I just, uh, I didn't want to interrupt lovers. Not doggers, lovers. I don't want to interrupt lovers at the lovers' viewpoint. And I've made it to the viewpoint. This is it. I sort of just walked through the car park pretty quickly because well, there's people being romantic in their cars and it's a Saturday night.
Imagine someone's cheating on their wife and I walk past at the viewpoint and give away... I don't want to ruin relationships by catching lovers at it. Eh, at the lovers car park. So, I just decided to walk past with my head down, no making eye contact with anyone. It's too dark to really see the view, but it's a really nice spot for the bridge. If you really want to be a romantic lover, you come to the car park, you, you ditch the car. Actually, you ditch the car in, up there and you walk down for a romantic walk. And then you come down here with a blanket and a picnic and you sit here and you look at the bridge. Because you don't want to be sitting in your car. Wispy. Yeah, someone left their shoe here. Maybe someone else has already been romantic. If that's your shoe, you know what it is. Lost your shoe outside of Newton at the lover's car park. Then, hi. I found your shoe. Real jaggy. Real jaggy. It feels really wholesome walking around here. That's the word to describe it, wholesome. I feel like it's just a nice wee place to live. I don't know, if you're from here, let me know. Um, I'm sure people have come and gone over the years. Um, there'll be people that lived here when they were children, they've moved around the world. If you're watching, let me know. Do you miss this place? Would you come back? And, you know, it's even got a couple of shops, which is almost more than what Ratho had, and Ratho is about ten times the size of this place. Right, I think I'm back at the community centre. There we go, the Newton Loop. Just like that. That's that. I think my next episode I'm going to go out somewhere, a big place, I think Stirling, or maybe Falkirk, one or the other. I'll toss a coin and decide and you'll find out in the next episode. But as for today, it's been a lovely evening walking around here. It wasn't the quite the sunset I was expecting, but I got the drone up, I learnt some stuff and most of all I've had a nice evening walking around and it's just a really nice place, I like it here. I'll definitely come back because I want to explore further down by the water in that castle. Uh, I just need to find out if I'm allowed, uh, I'll come back when there's more light. Anyway, Newton, Abercorn, thanks for having me. Peace. Well, it was a lovely to see you. It's the end of the show. Bring on tomorrow. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? Say good night to the ginger man. One last ice cream for the bearded man. Pistachio.